Come on. Hey guys, Chase here, Southern Sky Farm. Today is August the 1st, and we are finally moving the girls. So you can see here in front of me and behind me, I'll do a slow pan. This is where they were and they were here for a while we fed quite a few bales i think we're in the range between 12 and 15 bales that we fed to survive we survived we've gotten in the past about 14 days we've gotten five inches of rain and you can see what that has done to our farm we are growing grasses again. We've got a lot of warm season grasses finally popping up. This field right here, you can kind of see the line where the cows were on the right, and then I'll see the fence line. The bulls, they haven't been over here for a while. I'm not sure the exact day that they haven't been over here, but they haven't grazed this. We've got a lot of those warm season grasses, Johnson grass right there popping up, and the grass is starting to look good again. But what's really crazy is the area that we're moving to. I'll put up on the screen how many days it's been since we were last in this field, but it's been quite a while because today's August the 1st and 14 days ago we got rain and then before then it was the end of May, the 1st of June since the last time we got rain. So it's been a while since they've been over here in this field and it's been a while since they've had good green grass, but you can see uh, what they're ripping off here. We've got some good grass. Now this grass right here is probably 18 inches tall. There are obviously some areas that are not as tall, but we've got some really, really good warm season grasses popping up. And the fescue, even though it's been pretty warm, is grown some too. We've also got some red clover that's over here in that area. A little bit of white clover mixed in there. But I'm hoping that we are finally done with feeding hay. And we'll be back on to grazing until this fall. So we just got to pray for a lot of rain to come. And our grass to keep growing. And we'll be grazing. So we did a little bit, a little uh, cattle move this morning, not very far, just came across the driveway from the field that they were in. But we survived the uh, worst drought that we have had to deal with since we've owned the farm since 2021, and we survived. We fed hay to get us through the bulls. They also got some hay, but they're back to grazing. And you can see where we are. I had rolled out some hay right there. But they've got good grass to graze. There are only four bulls over there on that entire paddock from here all the way closer to us and then all that. So they've got plenty of grass and it's grown up really nicely. The cows are doing really well. I'll show you what this one right here looks like. One of our better ones. I'll show you one to the right. But she survived a pretty much very hard 60 day drought basically from june 1st to august 1st um, was a really big drought just because we got rain 14 days ago didn't mean that we could just start grazing as soon as we got it we had to let the grass rest and get rolling growing and then we'll be able to graze it so she's looking good right there's a heifer to the right they just walked up behind her um, our calf crop this year is looking great our pink eyes has really slowed down. Thank gosh. I was tired of working cows or calves and cows. I'm not sure the exact number we treated. We treated uh, several of them. I can get the numbers and I'll shoot a video on that. We treated several of them. Um, this guy right here is one of our steers. He was last year's calf. Um, he's growing well. I will say that the drought really did hurt us on our growth for this spring and early summertime. Um, but we've honestly just been kind of in survival mode trying to survive the drought. So here's some of our other calves. 
got five of our calves right here. Those three, the one on the left over here was our newest one. And he's doing well. And then these two other little guys, they are two of our other calves from this year. So they're all doing good, growing. And hopefully we'll be back into gains and not maintaining or losing weight because of the heat and lack of forage. So I think that starting now, since the cows are really getting some good growth now, that we'll be able to um, kind of see a difference and get them growing again. Some of them lost uh, some body score for sure, and then majority of them maintained it. The ones that we already knew were kind of not the best, those are the ones that lost, and the ones that were good, uh, they maintained what they had. So. That's kind of an update for today, update on our grass of how great it looks for the massive uh, struggle we've had. And the cow's just packing it in now. The other thing about the uh, Johnson grass right there is a lot of tall stuff they're eating. Um, you don't want them to eat that down low, so I didn't want to get too tall. But if we can graze it off a little bit, it'll shoot back up and um, we'll be able to graze it again with the warm season grasses. So that's kind of our plan. The rest of the farm is looking good. Um, we'll probably start the rotations again. I'm not exactly sure if we're gonna do it faster or slower. Um, I'm probably leaning towards slower just so we can have our fields recuperate a little bit, but we also Definitely don't want to damage the grass now that we already got back to growing. So, we also, uh, baby cow, I'm not sure if I shot a video on that one, that one right there. Uh, that is a long story that I'll get to you at some point when I can catch up on some videos. Um, but we're going to kind of introduce her to the herd too. So, that'll be interesting to see how that goes. But... I think I pretty much covered all the new updates, good grass growth. We are grazing again. We fed between 12 and 15 bales to survive. And, and that was for the cows and the bulls. And our pink eye, I think we've got a hold on that. I don't wanna jinx myself, but I'm pretty sure that we're doing well on the pink eye and we haven't had any new cases in two weeks. So that's a plus. But that's going to be all for this video. Guys, thanks for watching. If I missed any updates that uh, y'all wanted to know about since we're actually grazing again or how we manage for the drought, then comment below and I'll answer whatever question you got. If you have a long question, I'll answer it in a video. But that's all for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like our channel, subscribe to our channel, comment on our videos. Shoot us an email, it's in the description below. And we'll keep rocking these videos out and growing Southern Sky Farm grass-fed beef. Thanks for watching, guys.